I find it rather shocking that something as important as the leaky gut syndrome is poorly appreciated by mainstream medicine. There are hundreds of articles in the mainstream literature that document that this is indeed a real thing and that we should be paying attention to it. And in this short video, you're going to learn what that is. What is the leaky gut syndrome and what does it have to do with your health? First of all, there's a membrane, okay, in the intestinal tract that separates the inside of the digestive tract from the inside of the body. That is a place where there are pores. And the pores, if they're of normal size, they will filter out bacteria, molecules that are large, and keep them from getting to the inside of the body. But if that membrane is leaky, meaning that the spaces between the cells or the pores are enlarged, now all of a sudden whole bacteria, large molecules, that shouldn't be getting across and into the body will now get into the body. And that becomes a problem because the bulk of our immune system, 60 to 70 percent of it, is, in the, is right on the other side of the intestinal tract. So if we're all of a sudden flooding that immune system to large molecules and many of them that shouldn't be there, it will start to lose its control and start to get in a place where you see hypersensitivity reactions where you see the beginning of what happens when you have autoimmune disease. So that's how the mechanism works. And what we need to do is measure to see if that gut is leaking. We need to know what the pore size is. And fortunately, there's an inexpensive $80 test that will enable us to be able to do that that's safe. And basically what you do is this. You consume two sugars that the body can't metabolize in a drink. You drink down that liquid. One of the sugars in there is mannitol, which is a small sugar. It's a six carbon sugar that's like glucose. And when it gets to the intestinal tract, it will be actively, uh, actively transported into the body. And if it's actively transported into the body, it gets into the bloodstream. And because we can't use that sugar, it's non-metabolizable, it's going to be excreted in the urine. You can measure how much comes out in the urine. You knew how much you took. You know how much there was in the way of absorption. Do you have a malabsorption problem is what this is going to tell you. The second sugar is lactulose, and it's a big sugar. It's twice the size of a glucose molecule. It cannot be actively transported into the body, and it cannot pass across tight membrane pores. If you have the leaky gut syndrome, now all of a sudden that lactulose gets into the body. It's not metabolized, and it's excreted into the urine, and you know how much comes out because you measure that you know relatively what the size of that leak is. So we have a way of measuring with great accuracy what the pore size is. And in people who have autoimmune and hypersensitivity problems, things like asthma and chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia or a wide range of things like lupus or collagen vascular disorders, you want to know, is there a leaky gut there or not? And fortunately, there are things that we can do that can support the repair so that leak will close. It's not hard to do. When you do that, all of a sudden, you've corrected the problem that's led to, the, to letting too many chemicals into the body that are large that stimulate the immune system so it gets out of control and you start attacking your own tissues. So that's how this system works. There are many supplements that can be used that range from probiotics to L-glutamine, to things like white fish proteins called Sea Cure and other nourishing things that the gut just likes to have to be able to repair itself that are very important. Another very important thing is vitamin D. We've got this epidemic of vitamin D deficiency and we know now that when you have a vitamin D deficiency you get the leaky gut. So it's a very scientific approach to dealing with a lot of the autoimmune and allergic reactions that occur in the body that enable us to be able to get an idea of what's gone wrong and what we can do about it. So if you have one of these conditions, it's important you talk to your healthcare practitioner and see if you can get this very important test done.